Well, tonight we continue to learn more about the shooting and the stabbing that took place at McKinley High School yesterday that we brought you as breaking news for several hours last night. Good evening once again. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. There are still plenty of questions that we have for Buffalo Police today, but so far the department has not made anyone available for a briefing or an interview. But we do have team coverage at this hour with our Ron Plant speaking with a former Buffalo Police Captain about how this investigation is now being conducted. But we want to start with two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik, to go through the information we now have 24 hours later. She joins us live outside the high school. Kelly. Scott and Mary Alice, no arrests yet, and the city, police, and school district did not make anybody available for interviews today, but here's what we know so far. A source confirms that police are looking for two suspects at this hour. Students at McKinley High School here in Buffalo will remain in remote learning tomorrow and possibly longer than that. Yesterday, the superintendent said it could be until the end of the month. With police cleared out of here today, we were able to see where the shooting happened and where the stabbing happened. Now to bring everybody up to speed, a 14 year old boy was stabbed several times yesterday afternoon after school got out. A security officer was shot. This happened in a school parking lot and so far police haven't made any arrests again or given us a description of who they're looking for. Around 100 students and staff members were stuck inside the school until about seven o'clock last night when they were then reunited with their families. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown posted on his Facebook page today the latest information about the survivors. He says the student is in stable condition and is being closely monitored. He also explained how first responders thought the student was shot yesterday, but then once surgeons examined him, they realized he was stabbed. So that's why there was confusion there. The security officer who was shot was shot in his leg. We confirmed today that his name is Bradley Walker. Mayor Brown says he's already out of the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. The school district has also made counselors available for families who need them. You can find how to sign up for time with them on the McKinley High School Facebook page or in your student portal. But again, no arrest tonight and no description of those two suspects police are looking for. Live in Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.